Uh, what musicians over the years have influenced your writing? Ah, uh, like tons and tons of them, really. Like for me, like when I was your age, it's right when the Beatles hit the United States. And I was one of these guys that loved the Beatles because, I, because of, probably because of, of, uh, of their producer. Um, they influenced uh, me so much, like more than the Rolling Stones, because the Rolling Stones were kind of playing three chord rock and roll. Uh, and George Martin was introducing the Beatles to so, so many other kinds of uh, uh, styles. Uh, so that was really exciting for me. And of course, there's a huge amount of influence in uh, just growing up in my household, hearing my father's compositions and the great musicians that he had with him, like Paul Desmond and Jerry Mulligan and uh, Eugene Wright and Joe Morello on drums. So that was a huge influence. And, and you know, there were pop groups I really loved. Jimi Hendrix, you know, was astonishing to me. And then I was lucky enough to go to Interlock and Arts Academy. And so I might be listening to Jimi Hendrix in the morning, go, that's awesome, and then playing Shostakovich Fifth and going, that's awesome, you know. <laughs> it's like, so I was exposed to lots and lots of different kinds of music, and and really loving it all, and and having a chance to play. I mean, playing is the most important thing for improving. Um, we would in that school, we got to play two hours of orchestra a day. Of course, being a trombone player, that means I counted about five thousand bars a day. <laughs> Um, and then we had a big band that started up there, and then I had my own rock group, and just playing and playing and playing is, is the, the best thing uh, to improve. And, you know, starting to play jazz, I don't know if there's any jazz combo opportunities at this level. But, uh, you know, I've met kids so many times, if, if you're interested in jazz, you get together and you start jamming with your friends. It's, it's a good way to get going.